ball to the far post where you go up and then you hit it with one. Keep the ball going in that direction, most difficult. There, the, the key with that is that as you're going up, again, if you try to swing at it, you got the ball coming across this way and you're trying to swing there, it never works. You miss it nine times out of ten. If you hit it, that's great and you should probably be a boxer. But really what you want to be doing is just like in the, in the regular boxes, you're going to catch it and you realize I'm not going to get there and then you're just barely touching it. That's all you have to do is get a little bit of redirection on the ball and you've done your job because the forwards are all lining up on that cross and the redirection, even if it's a tiny, tiny bit, will put it off their line and they won't be able to get to it. Also on punching, you're supposed to only punch the ball if it's necessary. Like, what's that? High traffic. High traffic, anytime if it's super wet and you're and the ball's coming in with pace and you're not sure you can handle it, or you're coming out for a ball and you've got two people coming up, even your defenders, then that's when you punch it. You should never punch the ball, even if there's this much traffic and everybody's standing there and you go up, no reason to punch that ball. It's only if everybody's coming up with you. So it's really the last second, or like I said, the half of a second, that you make the decision, I'm going up here, I've got this guy underneath me here, and now it's a punch at the very last second. Yeah. So we gotta remember that. There's goalkeepers that tend to use punching when it's not necessary, and that's just bad goalkeeping. It's not, not when you're supposed to do it. Um, I can, I probably, in my entire career, punched the ball five times. Because I just, I was good in the air, and even in traffic, I was, you know, able to get up. I'm obviously tall, which helps. So it's, it's, it's kind of a last resort tool. All right. So the next thing we're going to work on now is this one that's even used less often. Um, so let's have Jared, you go out over there. Chase, you'll be my demonstrator. That's good right there, Jared. Yeah, so Chase, you're going to open up like it's a cross ball. I'm going to serve the ball over his shoulder. You should take a little one-two step, go up with two hands, and then with your top hand, you're going to just keep it going that way. Again, I don't need you to hit it to the trees. I just need you to touch it. That's all you have to do. So it's here. Here comes the service. Good. That's all it is. Get him another ball for Jared, please. When would you ever use that? You oh. use that primarily on cross balls. Okay. So you're in the goal, someone hits the cross to the far post, you're here, you're coming out for it, it's up there, you go up, oh crap, I'm not going to catch it, boom, and you just touch it, and now it's going out over there. Okay. So that's why I was saying, all the strikers are coming in, they're lining it up on the cross ball, literally if you get a finger on it, you'll knock the ball off course far enough. You guys see that? Yeah, I hit my ear. Look guys, if a bug comes through the groove, we grab it. We don't let it just come through like that and torture us. Chase, Jared, you're serving it this way now. Good. Yeah, you might want to step back a step. Yeah, good. There, little touch. That's all it takes. Another one, Chase, last one. Huh. Yeah, perfect. All right, that's our exercise.